Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another Minecraft discussion on this glorious, very overcast day. It kind of, this day kind of reminds me of a George Winston, you know, well, CDs, people don't listen to CDs too much, too much anymore, but George Winston, if you don't know of him, he's, he is autumn. I'm thinking like fall into winter right now. It just looks like that very, it's a thoughty day. Okay, so my name is Kimberly Quinn, and I'm here to talk about shifting out of, shifting away from this endpoint mindset. But right now I have to tell you that my feet are soaking wet and freezing um, because the beaver dam let go. Like they gotta get on their game here. It pounded rain. That was that's a beaver dam right behind me, but it, it gave up, and so I just walked through what's behind me over there because I just uh, I got it on fire with the video. So I'm like, okay, I can deal with the frozen feet for a little bit because um, it's spectacular outside. It's just beautiful. Just a little wet and cold, but it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the idea about shifting. Shifting out of this end, shifting away from this end point thing, I think we often are so locked into when I get this done, when I get that done, whether it's short term, when I get this project done, when I get this done, once I have the baby, um, and you think months and months and years, and that by when I'm, you know, when I can retire in 14 years, I get a pension, or you know, we have such an end point mentality, which you know really doesn't exist. I guess that that depends on what you're belief system is and I'm not talking about religion I would not do that on these I wouldn't do it anyway to be honest with you I really don't care what people's different religions and and uh are or anything I'm talking about you know spiritually speaking personally I don't believe there's an end I believe it's a transformation kind of like when a woolly bear goes to a butterfly and it keeps happening or better even better than that is a phoenix I love how if any of you are HP fans, when Dumbledore is about to get sent to Az Azkaban, claps and the phoenix just, it's great, right to right to ashes. And then and then she's reborn as another phoenix. Yeah, that's kind of neat. But anyway, however you believe, because I don't know, you know, I just, know, I, for me, I believe there's something next. But outside of that, the end point thing isn't a good, isn't a good mindset to have because, and I'm not saying don't have goals. It's good to have, it's good to have goals for an idea of where you're headed, right? It's not a good idea to focus on them. You know, a lot of, you know, uh, different types of, of courses would might say, oh, what is she talking about? No, I do know what I'm talking about, actually, because there's only so much energy in one day to devote to anything. It's 100%. We've talked about it with the, the pizza pie. Oh, it's starting to rain. That's okay. Pizza pie or think of it. When we give, you know, 10% or 20% or 30% of focusing on that future goal, that's 30% we're not putting into achieving the goal. And then, so there's that, okay, because if we just focus on the present moment and doing the best we can, which is all anybody can say or do or ask of anyone else, the goal will take care of itself and will come out better than it would have if you just focused on the future instead of being in the present. That's the whole thing. And there's actually a lot written on this. And to realize that the power is right here, right now. The other thing, and it sounds cheesy and cliche, but it's so true. Now is all we've got. So if you're not enjoying the journey, who cares about the end? Who cares if you're not enjoy, enjoying today? So your life minutes today are important. Your life minutes are, are today are important. We've got one of our kids actually studying for the LSATs. And thank goodness she knows enough to take breaks. Because I've had this um, talk with my students before during finals week. They're probably like, seriously, is a professor saying this? And yes, I am saying it because even though you're in finals, right? And, and there's all kinds of fear-driven motivation going on there. It, 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 your life minutes on this day, even if you have finals, you know, you have 35 finals, 46 papers, and two, two presentations or whatever, your life, important, your life minutes on this day are still important. So it might be your reality that if you have the LSATs, you know, tomorrow, or you've got your in finals week this week, or whatever the seasoned adult version of that is with work projects and things we don't want to put off the life minutes of today for later it doesn't mean don't be responsible complete what you need to complete to fulfill your responsibilities and definitely if it affects other people we don't want to like we have how's that that rule go about the, whole, the universe you know we have every right all of us to trudge forward you know to fulfill our authentic purpose and all that as long as we don't get in the way of anybody else who's fulfilling their authentic purpose and it's just isn't nice or good integrity based practice to not do stuff when it's going to land on somebody else. So I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if that happens to be your re reality for one day or a whole week or something like that, all I'm saying is to carve out some of it 
even if it's 15 minutes to do a simple pleasure because your life minutes are important today. So 15 minutes, you can spend that on the potty, especially if something didn't agree with you. So not to, not to just get locked in, and especially if the energy you're putting into whatever it is isn't going anywhere. So I'm thinking of studying with my, you know, with my students and when they can, they're staring at the same page, you know, after hours and hours of looking at it and nothing more is going in. Well, if nothing more is going in, what's the point of staring at the page? So I'll tell them to go to sleep because, and trust that all, everything you've listened to in class and everything you've already read will stick. You're better off getting sleep than just staying up and da, 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 da. So the important thing is, getting back to the main theme of this video, is to realize that each and every day of our valuable life minutes is important. Each and every day. And not, be, not to be so focused on all this, um, what's in the end, what's at the end of it all. That's just not what we want to do. Little G seems to have found something. Let's see what it is. What is oh, never mind. He's just, he's just rolling in the leaves. Very focused on the present moment. So shift, we want to shift out of it and, and focus on the process because that's really all we've got. That's where the enrichment is. That's where the life is. That's where it's all going on is right here, right now. Great metaphor because look at this roaring brook. So present, so present, so powerful and so full of life right now. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off. Have a mindful day.